It's now 2023 and Matter products will begin hitting the shelves very soon like this Eve Energy Smart Plug. Plus, many of our existing smart home devices will get over the air firmware updates to support Matter. And maybe you're wondering if you should update your existing smart home products to work with Matter as well. Well, I've already done this with a number of my devices and today I just wanna share with you, you know, my real life experience of, you know, what it's been like in early 2023 to use Matter products in your smart home. Let's go. Sponsored by Bark. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Shane. If this is your first time here, and this channel is all about building an easy Apple home smart home with new videos published every Sunday and live streams every Wednesday. And yes, I did say I'm building an Apple home smart home and I've been exclusively an Apple home for a long time now until recently. I did buy my first Google smart home hub. I got the Google Nest Hub Max back in December of 2022 just so that I could test out some of these new products for you guys here on the channel. And I gotta admit, it's kinda cool sometimes having a display on my smart home hub speaker. <coughs> Apple, if you're listening. Anyways, for those that don't know, Matter is this new smart home standard that everyone, including Apple, Google, Amazon, Samsung, and many others have agreed upon. This standard is aimed at making the purchase and the user experience of having these smart home accessories easier for the consumer, regardless of what smart home platform you choose. The official Matter SDK was released in early November of 2022, and by December, we were already seeing some products with available over-the-air firmware updates to support Matter. Now, the first one that I got was through the Eve app via an early access program. This would bring an option to upgrade Eve products to support Matter. Philips Hue also gave us an optional upgrade through their beta program. I actually didn't move quick enough on this one and wasn't able to get the Hue beta, which is okay, I don't have a lot of Philips Hue stuff anyways. And Acara was the other early adopter, initially planning to roll out Matter support to their M2 hub in December, but that was delayed until early 2023. Acara actually sent me a new Acara M2 hub that I was able to update to support Matter. Now the general public can expect this to roll out very soon to this M2 hub and other Acara hubs should follow there soon after. So in other words, I've got a number of Eve products right now and an Acara M2 hub and some child accessories that have all been updated to support Matter working in my home right now. And on top of that, we should see these new out of the box matter ready products hit the market very soon from a number of different brands like this Eve Energy Smart Plug that I have here. You can see here the matter logo on the box. And if we open this up, we'll see the matter QR code on the getting started guide as well as on the device itself. So this is really cool to see in person. This will probably become like the new normal fairly soon. Previously, this would have been a home kit code. Now Eve has historically has only made products that support Apple Home. So with Matter support, their products will now work with any smart home platform that supports Matter, including Google Home, SmartThings, Alexa, and of course, Apple Home. So let's get to it. How has my experience been so far with Matter? Well, let me take you through the process. With Eve, again, I had to join their early access program in order to get this update. Anyone can request this via their website. Once accepted, I was able to get the test flight beta version of their Eve app. And then I noticed the option to upgrade my compatible Eve products to support Matter. You're asked to scan your HomeKit code and you are presented with a Matter code. This code is what will eventually be on those out of the box Matter devices. Anyways, they want you to either share or save this code on your phone and verify that you do so because it's very important not to lose this code, again, since it's not printed anywhere. Once you update your device to support Matter, your HomeKit codes will not work anymore and you will need this Matter code. And then the migration process process starts. Now this can take a while, maybe around 10 minutes, maybe more, maybe less. 
And while we wait on this matter migration to complete, let me tell you about today's sponsor who I could not recommend enough, and that is Bark. This is the best uh, service for you know monitoring your child's devices and stuff that I've ever used to keep your kids safe online. I've been using Bark Premium for many years, long before I even had a YouTube channel. Bark monitors your kids' devices as well as over 30 different social media platforms, and they look out for red flags like suicidal ideation, cyberbullying, sexual exploitation, and just so much more. I can't tell you how many times Bark has really come in handy in my life as a parent. What I love about it is that it monitors everything for those red flags, which means you don't have to like manually go through your kids' devices all the time, looking through text messages and all that stuff. But I do get notified if there's anything that I should be aware of. I'm telling you, if you have kids that live at home or grandkids or you know any kids that you care about, definitely check out Bark. Um, in today's world, it's just so important. Important. You get a free seven day trial of Bark Premium by clicking the link below in the description. This is what I'm using for my daughter and I've used for many years with my son who is now 18. Thank you Bark for supporting the channel and even more importantly, thanks for all the amazing tools you provide us as parents to help keep our kids safe. All right, and once the device has been migrated over to Matter, you're asked to scan your new Matter code that we just saved then you can add it to your Apple Home, pretty much just like any HomeKit device. This should look very familiar to us HomeKit users. Now once added, you'll see this restore historical data. That means that all of our HomeKit settings, automations and stuff like that should continue to work just the same um, in HomeKit once we upgrade to Matter. And that's pretty awesome. And then our whole upgrade process is complete. And um, that's how it should work if everything goes smoothly. And what I really love about the way Eve has implemented this is that if you have been using your device, say an Eve Energy or door sensor or whatever, in HomeKit for a while, maybe you have automations and stuff set up through this. Uh, if everything goes smoothly and you're able to update your device to matter successfully, all your HomeKit you know, scenes, uh, automations, and stuff like that that include that device should still work just fine, which is really awesome, and I really like how Eve has done that. Again, that's if everything goes smoothly. So I went through this process with more devices like my Eve motion sensor, uh, Eve door sensor. Unfortunately for me, I was getting no response issues with you know within the home app with some of these devices after doing the updates. This kind of began my whole tinkering. I ended up removing some devices from the home app. I think I did a factory reset or two on some of them. And eventually I did get everything to work well in the home app, which is good. Then I wanted to get stuff working with my Google Nest Hub Max. Uh, the problem is, at least at the time of recording, you can't add Matter devices to your Google Home with an iPhone. You have to use the Google Home app on an Android. Now, that will change with an update coming soon to the Google Home app, but this was just another speed bump for me. I had to reach out to friends trying to find an Android device that I could borrow. Anyways, I did get a Samsung Galaxy from a buddy and I began this <laughs> the frustration that was adding these devices to Google. I tried and tried with no luck, restarting hubs and devices, restarting my network. Um, I think one thing that was a big factor was not having all my devices on the same network, so definitely be conscious of that. On top of that, there is a number of ways to add Matter devices to your platform, especially if you've already added in another platform like I did with um, Apple Home. What you wanna do is you go into the device settings in the Home app, in this case, since it's already paired there, turn on pairing mode and copy that code that they give you. Then you'll add the new device in the Google Home app and it should detect your Matter device automatically. Sometimes this worked for me, other times it didn't. You can also tap on the option to pair a different device and type in the pairing code manually that you get from the Apple Home app. I don't know, I tried this process so many times in so many different ways. I'm really not even 100% sure to tell you what exactly worked for me because uh, it was all over the place. And moving on to the Acara M2 hub, they pushed this upgrade 
into my account a little early before it's available to everyone. And uh, that's kind of why I wanted to make this video, just to share my thoughts and experience with you as you may soon have an option to upgrade your devices to matter, you know, just like I did. So let's say you have an Acara M2 hub already working in your home. You get the firmware update. You want to update it to matter. You already have it working in the home app. So what you do is you go into the Acara app, go to your accessories, find your M2 hub, tap more settings, and there is an option to bind the hub to matter. So this will convert the hub to matter and you can add the device to your matter controller via the new matter qr code that it generates again you're going to want to save this i first added it to the home app successfully but was quickly showing the device was unresponsive restarting my primary home kit hub seemed to fix that issue at least for the time being the weird thing here is that you're left with two versions of the m2 the matter version that i just added and the original version uh, that was already in the home app. And I should note that the original version exposes a security system accessory to the home app. The matter version does not. So this is one of those cases where you will lose functionality when you upgrade to matter that you previously had in the Apple Home app or in HomeKit. Again, really weird that we end up with two Acar M2 devices and this being kind of like early in beta, maybe some of this will change, but this has been my experience. Um, I would get no response sometimes with the matter version and then everything would work fine with the the original version and it's the same device so it was all kind of weird but anyways once the m2 is updated with matter and added to your home app or any other platform all child accessories paired to that hub should also be exposed to the platform i initially had a temperature and humidity sensor and a door sensor paired to the Acara M2 just kind of for testing and stuff. I did go through some frustrating attempts just like the Eve devices to add the M2 to Google Home. Eventually I got it to work. I was pretty excited about that. What ended up working um, a little more reliably here was to use the Acara app to put the hub into pairing mode and it presents you with a QR code to scan, kind of similar to putting it in pairing mode in the uh, Apple Home app. Um, like we did with the Eve devices, except here you can do the same thing in the Acara app. And that's because Acara does aim for the Acara app to be a matter controller one day. I think we'll see more functionality and stuff like this from the Acara app. Uh, similar to what you see in like Google Home and Apple Home app. I pretty quickly started noticing more issues. All Matter devices became unresponsive in the Home app at one point. I started doing all kinds of things to try to find solutions. I noticed one of my HomePod minis was um, acting as a primary hub, unplugging it and forcing one of my Apple TV 4Ks to take over as my primary HomeKit hub seemed to get all the Matter devices working again in HomeKit. I don't know, I also noticed issues with unresponsive Acara sensors after adding them to Google, restarting the Nest Hub Max, initially fixed it for a while. Then after further testing, just started noticing a wide variety of issues, man, over days. At one point, the Acara door sensor was fairly responsive in Google Home, but not responsive in the Home app. Then I noticed the Eve door sensor responsive in the Home app, but completely unresponsive in the Google Home app and then another time it was working great in google home app but unresponsive in home kit and then at other times they would work in both platforms or none at all and i was experiencing these same strange inconsistencies with the acara sensors working in matter through the m2 hub also it was just a mess really and everything was so inconsistent it was really hard to try to find any you know common denominators matter is supposed to be this amazing thing that's going to simplify the smart home experience and i think eventually it will when things were working it was pretty amazing for me being an apple home guy to see you know products that have only ever worked in apple home or in home kit working in google home was pretty awesome here you turn the eve energy to off Okay, the Eve Energy 2 is off. Google, turn the Eve Energy 2 on. All right, turning Eve Energy 2 on. Siri, turn the Eve Energy 2 off. Okay, the Eve Energy 2 is off. Google, what's the temperature in the matter room? It's currently 22.5 degrees. Celsius. Siri, what's the temperature in the matter room? 
It's 73 degrees Fahrenheit in the matter room. You can really start to see the interoperability we keep hearing about. Um, you can see which services your device is connected to in each Matter controller app. Uh, so the Acara app, Apple Home, and the Google Home app, for example, all show you which other platforms your Matter devices are connected to. So that's all really cool. And knowing that you can soon pick up a Matter device and it will work in any of these platforms is great, especially for those of you running multi-voice assistant or a multi-platform home. Um, it's just supposed to make things a whole lot easier for us. That said, so far my Matter experience has been anything but simple. Almost everything took multiple attempts to gain any type of success. Certain things had to be just like perfect. For example, you've got to look real closely at your Wi-Fi network and all your smart home hubs and things like that. Make sure everything's on the right network. You might need to restart Matter hubs or uh, switch your primary home kit hubs like I had to do. I had to have an iPhone to pair certain things to Apple Home uh, and then an Android phone to pair everything in the Google Home app. Similarly for Alexa, you need an Android phone also and Matter is only supported over Wi-Fi at the moment, so no thread support yet. And then there's smart things that I didn't try because I still don't have a smart things hub. Probably will get one soon for more testing. But anyways, all this should get better over the next few months. These apps should start supporting everything on iOS or Android and eventually Amazon will support Thread as well as Wi-Fi. We're just definitely in a transitional period right now. And so the million dollar question is, should you update or upgrade your existing products to support Matter? if that's an option, if you get one of these firmware updates. I can at least for now, based on my experience, tell you no, you probably shouldn't, unless you have a really good reason to. You know, if you're using HomeKit, for example, and that's really all you care about, I probably wouldn't upgrade your Eve or Acora devices or any other devices to support Matter right now at least, there's really no point and it's likely you'll run into issues and you could even lose certain functionality in HomeKit like I mentioned earlier. I'd probably wait another couple of months and you know let a lot of these issues get ironed out through firmware updates and new product releases. If you do have, you know, let's say Eve accessories that you're just dying to get working with Google, then go ahead, I guess, just know that it might not be all smooth sailing like the big players want you to believe. It was kind of funny uh, when I was at CES this year seeing Google, SmartThings, Alexa, they were all talking about how amazing Matter is. Uh, and I think, or at least I hope, it will get there eventually, hopefully sooner than later. But if you do decide you have to upgrade your devices now, I'd probably just start with one or two devices. Certainly don't convert over any mission critical accessories that's gonna end up pissing off everybody you live with, you know, if they stop working. All of my Eve and a car stuff has been super reliable and uh, just works great with HomeKit, but after moving them over to Matter, they've certainly been inconsistent at best. I do think a lot of this stuff is gonna get better in the coming months, and I'm really looking forward to trying out, you know, all these new out-of-the-box Matter devices that'll hit the shelves soon. I spoke to a number of brands at CES that plan to release Matter out-of-the-box products in the very near future, so we'll definitely be trying out some of those on the channel. But in the meantime, I'm a big proponent of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So if you have everything working well in your smart home platform of choice right now, I'd leave it alone. Let us crazy ones go out there, go through all the frustration and the growing pains of this new standard. And pretty soon, I think it's all gonna be better. Hopefully within just a few months and Matter will start to become more of the new normal. Let me know what you think. Have you tried any Matter devices yet with your smart home or you know, what are you specifically excited about coming this year? I think it's definitely gonna be an exciting one for the smart home industry. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. We'll have a lot to cover here on the channel. Big thanks again to Bark for sponsoring today's video and supporting this channel. Check out that link below to try Bark Premium for seven days. I couldn't recommend it enough. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.